So this year for our Valentine's banquet, we got you some answers. We went around and we asked the ladies what they look for in a guy. And we asked the guys what they look for in the ladies. So maybe, just maybe, perhaps next year you will not return single. And if you do, that's totally okay. We'll probably get you some more answers. We can start by making sure that he doesn't have a criminal background. We don't want any bad boys in the family. <laughs> a druggie, a drunk, <laughs> that he smokes. Someone who's not afraid of my dad's three guns. Gosh, this is an awkward question. <laughs> you guys are punishing me. Somebody that has like a vision for life, has goals, has a passion for life, not just like, you know, just living from day to day, that's not gonna work for me. I think at this point, it doesn't really matter what is uh, in the guy for the fact that I'm 24. So basically, if you're alive, you know how to open the Bible, you're not ugly, then that should be good enough. I don't have much standards. <laughs> okay, actually kidding, I do actually have some standards. No, never mind, I don't. The whole video games is such a turn off. Definitely no video games, that's just sick. I won't even look at them. Do you understand me? Look at me right now, do you understand me? I am not looking for a boy, that is for sure. They say age is just a number, so a little more adventurous than, you know, sit in the house and play house with <laughs> other, <laughs> other members of the house, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Jesus loving, somewhat decent, beautiful, and makes good food, and is willing to work on their problems. And I'll be happy, honestly. Amen. Lord, let it be according to your will. <laughs> Don't try to fix me, fix the toilet, okay? I don't want a baby mama. What do I want and what do I look for in a guy? He has to be funny. Like, I, he has to be able to make me laugh. If you're not funny, you're gonna be restricted to the friend zone. Confident, has great morals, and a good sense of humor. A woman who's confident, um, same faith, that usually helps. Well, a woman has to be confident. She has to be confident in herself because you can't, a guy can't make a girl confident. She has to have that in herself and in who she is and who she is in God. And that's basically the most important thing, so. She could be taller or shorter than me. I really don't care. That doesn't matter to me. And I'm not too keen on like if he cleans or if he cooks or something. Someone that can help me with my chemistry, my biology, and my two AMP classes. He has to be funny, kind, uh, love me, uh, a little less than God, but almost like right there. <laughs> Personality-wise, she's got to, she's got to be really good with people, because I'm not really good with people, so she's got to make friends for me. What happens when the girl of my dreams comes and sweep me off my feet? Well, I'm not gonna say no. Don't let the woman wear the pants. So I'll imagine her to be like this. Beautiful, uh, smart, educated. Woman, they like to be mysterious. They don't want to be figured out. Uh, I guess cooking would be nice. You know, I, I can cook myself, so there's really no problem. Can cook, hopefully. If he cooks, that would be definitely a plus, because I don't like to cook. She has to know how to cook. Um, I want a guy that can cook, because I'm not going to cook. I think cooking is a waste of time. Uh, you know, somewhat decent on the kitchen, you know, make a sandwich, pop a hot dog or something. Does Bryson, you know how to make a sandwich? <laughs> you know, it wouldn't hurt, you know, to have the kitchen clean every morning or something like that. I mean, if you can cook, come follow. <laughs> Not so to cook. I definitely want a girl that makes a sandwich. You have to know how to cook. Number two, I know how to cook, so that means you don't have to. Really good sandwiches. I love peanut butter and jelly. To have a hot breakfast ready, you know, it wouldn't hurt. All the guys probably say a cook, but that's nowadays we got frozen packages. You gotta be good looking, because, you know, I can't go with not good looking. And. 
he can't be fat. No offense. Like, he get. I mean, he could be built up. He has to have nice calves. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not fluffy. <laughs> Someone who takes care of themselves. Tall. Well, everybody's tall compared to me, so that's good. Fe features aren't. I'm kind of lenient on features, honestly. As long as your overall like form. Muscles. <laughs> <laughs> well, two eyes helps. Colorblind. You're alive. We're pretty much <laughs> we're good there. <laughs> he must be like a true Christian, like seven out of seven day a week. Not just church on a Sunday, then you're good. Not a, not any of the lukewarm stuff. I need him to be hot, a hot man, not a lukewarm man, but a hot man. <laughs> there we go. You have to be good looking. I'm sorry. So he's good looking, muscular. Be somewhat fit. <laughs> Good looking, as long as this guy's a good heart. It's not that simple! <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. Wow, that was easy. You know, I'm not looking for no supermodel. Just, you know, someone who can take care of themselves. Tall, I have to be able to wear heels. And he has to be at least four inches taller than me so that I can still wear heels. She has to eat healthy, take care of herself, you know. Be fit, slim like me, obviously. Guns of Steel. I guess not too much makeup, uh, you know, some natural, but not going to the woods natural. Just gotta have a pretty smile, beautiful eyes. Like, I wanna be able to say wow every time I see him. Has a nice smile and great hair. Long hair. <laughs> I don't know, hair color doesn't matter. Hairstyle does. I see like I seen like those girls with like the haircut with like half like the little haircut like right here. Super long, but it's like shaved right here. Oh. <gasps> Just does not look normal. Oh my gosh. I really want him to have orange hair. Cannot have red hair. <laughs> Brunette, <laughs> brunette, no redhead. Sorry, <laughs> no facial hair. Please buy a shaver. No facial hair. Do not like armpit hair. It's a big no no. I like it bald. Oh, I don't care about race. I mean, you could be mocha. I mean, skin color you can always change that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter the race, you know, you can be Russian, Ukrainian, Bosnian, German, British. If you're British, automatic win. That's it, man. Australian, Australian too. Mal uh, dude, no, not a Moldovian. <laughs> I'm not moving there, you're moving here. Oh, 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 I have one. Someone that can feed my <clears throat> shoe addiction. Gives me money <laughs> that I can spend. Money, money's nice. And if he breeds, that's a bonus. Oh, he has to have a job. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you have to handle yourself. Somebody that can put up with me. I don't want to be a babysitter, you know. My family likes him. Um, he would be very accepting of the family. Yeah, the crazy big Parhatuk and Melnik. Who can handle our crazy family. But you have to survive my family. They're crazy. People have cried. Many days. I don't even think you'll get past the family. <laughs> giggity, giggity. As long as they do laundry and sweep the floor, not walk around in high heels in the house, put away their curling irons in the morning and hair dryers in the morning, I'm fine with that. Someone that likes to run, run with me, not away from me, towards me, please. You can have a whole list of um, things you want but when you fall in uh, in love you start going and crossing out so what I'm looking for in someone um, is actually I'm not really looking for anything at all 
because I think that the biggest mistake that anybody can make is that they are looking. They are out there trying to find someone and actively pursuing who that they're who they're going to marry, who they're going to find. Um, and that's the problem is that you're looking way too hard. And I've discovered that um, it's not something that you have to look for, that when it's right and when it's God's time, it will come. And you will see it and you will know. And I'm really confident in that, knowing that the Holy Spirit will give you guidance. And if you just make His desires your priority, God will make your desires His priority. He already knows what I want. He already knows what all of us are looking for. And He already has that person waiting for us and ready for us. That in His own way, in His own time, He will make it come. And He will be the perfect person for me. And I will be the perfect person for Him when the time is right. So my advice is that it's not that you need to go out and look. I don't need to go out and look. But to patiently wait on God and to pursue God. I'm looking for God. And I think that... When when we can do that as Christians, as people of God, when we can look for God, God will look for someone for us. So that's what I'm looking for in a man. And that is all. Me? No, let's not do that one. Honestly, no, no, scratch that. I want him to. No, it's, can you scratch that? I don't have anything prepared. Who's Cody Simpson? Hi, everyone. Live from, sure from Pendleton. Okay, all jokes aside. Oh, who am I kidding? Um, wow, this is really enjoyable. <laughs> the most important thing is the woman has to know how to get a massage. Give up. Get a massage. I'm just, I'm just complicated one. It took me 30 minutes to explain to them my hairstylist about how I, my, how I haircut. Dude, I, I honestly, I don't know what to say. And we will have a happy life. Wait, this is not for a marriage. No. <laughs> Thank you.